find a place to hide this. Hide what? I have made a very dangerous discovery at the archaeological diggings. How could something from 2,000 years ago be dangerous? If General Erko saw this, he could order all humanoids destroyed. Look. A book? Written by humanoids? Yes. Positive proof that humanoids once could speak and write. This would be dangerous in the hands of General Erko. But when the time is right, it could also prove our theory that humanoids preceded us on Earth. Turn the page. The apes are caged and the humanoids are free. Now do you see why we must keep this hidden from General Urko? Of course. I will lock it in the equipment cabinet. Who is it? General Urko, unlock this door. What can we do for you, General? My men tell me you've been digging up artifacts at your archaeological site. We are seeking scientific information. It should not concern you. Yeah, but it does. Perhaps you will find proof that humanoids are too dangerous to exist. Speaking as a scientist, I doubt we could ever find such evidence. Of course, you would say that. That is why I am petitioning the Council to search your laboratory. The Council will not approve such a violation of our freedom. I am confident they will. So why not cooperate now and let me examine your premises? No, General. You will have to await the Council's decision. Good day, sir. So, you do have something to hide. Ape citizens do have the right to privacy. You may only search with the proper authorization. Let the Council decide that, General. can we do, Cornelius? Perhaps we should just put the humanoid book back in the earth where we found it. But General Urko might dig it up again. Then we must destroy it. No, it's too valuable. Someday, perhaps, the world will be ready for our theory. Can we wait for that someday? Right now, with that book in our laboratory, our lives are in danger. You are right. We must find a safe hiding place, somewhere General Urko could never look. We will think about it tomorrow. Here, throw this in the trash. What is this? Just some old paper I found at the dig to wrap the humanoid book in. It has drawings on it. Strange drawings. Really? I was so excited at finding the humanoid book, I didn't notice. These are some kind of plans. Design specifications for construction of flying balloon. I've always wanted to build a flying balloon. It's not a practical theory, Cornelius. Every time apes have tried to build flying balloons, they have crashed. This one looks different than ours. It might just work. See? Heated air lifting people into the sky. It seems so against the laws of nature. We are scientists, are we not? We can find the hidden laws of nature, just as the ancient humanoids did who constructed this. But the materials, Cornelius, so much cloth and rope and, and, and this basket-shaped thing with this valve burner affair, it's... Yes, yes. It appears to be a project of some magnitude. But we can do it. I know we can. Here's the air valve we need. Forget it. It's of no use to us now. What happened, Cornelius? Some of the plans are missing. Destroyed by the elements, I suppose. Important plans? I would definitely call the steering mechanism important. 
Then we'll just have to invent our own steering mechanism. I've tried that. Every arrangement I think of is so heavy, the balloon would never get off the ground. Well, the humanoids who invented it must have solved that problem somehow. There's no consolation in that, Zira. Those humanoids died 2,000 years ago. So there's no one we can ask for help. Really? What about Bill and Jeff? Zira, you are a genius. Not really. If I were a genius, I would have thought about our astronaut friends before. Of course we'll help you, Cornelius. Can you tell us how the apparatus can be steered from the passenger basket? The basket was called a gondola. Gondola. What a beautiful name. Was it a scientist who thought of that? Or a poet? Sometimes we had men who were both. Frankly, I hope the man who worked on the steering was pure scientist. That is, if I'm going to ride in it. Cornelius, you wouldn't. Come now, Zero. Where is your spirit of experimentation? Right where you should keep yours, on the ground. How high will this take us, Bill? Depends on the winds, Cornelius. Why? I've been worried about the humanoid book we found. Urko has petitioned the Supreme Council for a warrant to search the laboratory, and we may expect a decision any moment. Why don't we take this book right now and force your leaders to understand the real history of this planet? Because many of our leaders have unreasoning fear of, of what they may discover. I'm afraid it will take more than one piece of evidence. And until we find more documentation, we must be sure that the book is safely hidden. That's why I want to take it with us in the balloon and hide it on top of Mount Gar. General Urko would never find it there. Let's see if we can go that high. Give me a hand, everybody. Okay, Cornelius, hop aboard. Cornelius, please, are you sure you want to do this? You know how much I want to experience flight. Give him his chance, Zira. After all the work he's put in smuggling the materials and building this thing, Cornelius deserves his ride. You can go on the next trip, Zira. Never. Nothing could make me set foot in that thing.